Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In a quiet neighborhood, a woman named Andrea is in deep pain. I can't stand it anymore, I can't stand it. She has suffered from severe, debilitating migraine headaches since she was 13 years old. Traditional treatments have failed to help her. Her longtime friend, Phyllis, has watched her suffer since childhood. And I know she's tried every type of traditional medicine. Nothing has ever worked. But in a country steeped in religion and mysticism, there may be an alternative, a miraculous alternative. Today, Andrea and Phyllis will meet Brazil's most famous healer, Dr. Fritz. Dr. Fritz was a German physician who worked in a field hospital during World War I. He died in 1916, but since that time, his spirit has been channeled in Brazil by at least five healers. Dr. Gilda Moura is a researcher and clinical psychologist. For the past five years, she has studied these unexplainable healings in Brazil. There's a series of people that claim being received or being possessed by the same spirit, Dr. Fritz. This man is the latest host of the spirit of Dr. Fritz, Ruben Faria. This unassuming man is no doctor. He has absolutely no medical training. But when he becomes possessed with the soul of Dr. Fritz, he's transformed into an internationally renowned healer. What you are seeing is Ruben Faria receiving the soul as well as the medical abilities of Dr. Fritz. As many as 800 people a day come to be cured in an old meeting hall located in a rundown Rio suburb. There will be many more tumors, sore throats, and headaches. You'll see, curing them is easy. What is more difficult is awakening the head and heart, giving people faith for the rest of their lives. That's my real mission, to help others find themselves. Some require only a few minutes of his time. Others require delicate surgery done on the spot. Dr. Fritz performs operations without anesthetic, using medical techniques that date back to the turn of the century. In the Fritz phenomenon and the paranormal healers, spiritual healers in Brazil, we observe the same. It's very interesting because the way they do the, the, the scars and the way they sew it, it's the old way to do it. It's not the modern way. Sometimes he injects his patients with what should be a lethal mix of alcohol, iodine, and turpentine. Somehow his patients feel no pain. I feel it, of course. I feel him doing the cutting and the hammering with the knife. Can you see that? It's just that it doesn't hurt. So far, science cannot explain the miracle of Dr. Fritz, but perhaps spirituality can. We did a test before trans and after trans. And uh, it's a different state of the mind, a different state of consciousness. You don't awaken anything in a person that they don't already feel in their own body. This is what alternative medicine really is. Now I am at peace. This man, he has blessed hands. When Andrea and Phyllis arrive at Dr. Fritz, there is already a long line. Many people have been waiting for hours. On this day, like on most, there are no unhappy patients. No problem. Perfect. Now it is Andrea's turn. She won't require any surgery, but she is still nervous. After a last-minute hesitation, Andrea follows Dr. Fritz to his work area. The procedure is quick and painless. I'm in awe. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah, there was something very protective about him. I mean, there's, there's something he makes you feel good. I mean, he told me to thank God. He says, if you don't feel any pain, thank God for that. And I said, no, I'll thank you. And he says, no, thank God, I don't have anything to do with it. That's what he said to me. And, and it felt very positive. I mean, it was a positive feeling, good vibes, if you will. For Andrea and thousands like her, the miraculous healing powers of Dr. Fritz, as channeled through the body of Ruben Faria, have provided the relief that modern medicine hasn't. When you come out here and you see it, it's very hard to remain cynical about it. He has something. He has something unexplainable, but he has it. And it's working.